And now we check back in with Amanda Vinicky. She spent the day reporting in Lyle as a part of our In Your Neighborhood series. She's coming, us, coming to us tonight from the Morton Arboretum. Amanda. Yes, Brenda, the day in downtown Lyle, but this evening, this gorgeous summer night here at the Morton Arboretum, which has a new exhibit, Human Nature, and here to talk about it with us is the Morton Arboretum's Sarah Sargent. Thank you so very much. So right behind us is a sculpture by South African artist Daniel Popper. Can you explain, first of all, what is this made of and what is it? This is Daniel's conception. We talked to him in 2019 about coming here and doing some works that would kind of resonate with various landscapes, places he found beautiful. And so he riffed on the idea of humans and nature being interconnected. So they're all a little evocative, a little symbolic, and they're all beautifully textured. They look like wood, but they're made out of concrete. Made out of concrete so people can touch it and interact. Absolutely. And this comes after a wildly successful troll exhibit as well. Mm -hmm. how, how big are these trolls and sculptures? The largest of Daniel's sculptures is about 26 feet tall. That's the one by Meadow Lake, and that's about the same height as the, as the trolls, so they're, they're neck to neck. All right, and, and there are five of these throughout mm -hmm. the Morton Arboretum's property, which is? 1,700 acres. 1,700 acres, so quite large. We're focusing on the sculpture, but there are also some beautiful trees surrounding it. Those are oaks? They're about 100-year-old oaks, yeah. This is a place where the Morton Arboretum likes to conserve oaks and pay attention to oaks. They're really important in Illinois. And so for me, this is really evocative because Daniel set them in, in front of our, some of our favorite trees. And of course, protecting and preserving trees is part of the Morton Arboretum's mission. What advice do you have or what do you perhaps want to share with our viewers at this time where I think we're going to be getting some rain soon, but by and large, a lot of Illinois is in a drought. Yes, well, trees need water. So if you have a tree on your property, the best thing you can do is water it. If you have questions, you can call or email our plant clinic and they will talk you through any specifics about the type of species you have in your yard. It's a free plant clinic. It, how often, I know this isn't really your thing, but how often should you be watering a tree? I mean, if it rains tonight, are we good? If I had a tree, I would call the plant clinic. <laughs> you would call the plant clinic. Now, uh, can you speak to, during the pandemic, uh, people couldn't interact, go to the theater, eat inside really, go to bars, but they could be outside. What did the pandemic look like here on, on the grounds of the Morton Arboretum? We had to close briefly, but then we were able to reopen. And so I think people found that it was a real respite, a real solace to be outside. And so we actually had one of our most successful early springs ever because people really needed to get out and see nature. And that's been great. Thank you so very much to the Morton Arboretum's Sarah Sh Sargent. And I'm going to go out on a limb <laughs> and say that I'm guessing with the new exhibit, it will be a popular summer here as well. Back to you, Brandis. I see what you did there, Amanda. Thank you. Stay dry.